Hi everyone, this is the fourth video in the series of REST APIs. In this video, we will learn what is Richardson Maturity Model. In this series, we have learned what is REST API, why we use it, what are HTTP methods and how we use them in the REST APIs. So now let's talk about the standards. Richardson Maturity Model is a way to categorize or grade the REST APIs. Basically, this model divides the REST APIs or RESTful web services into four categories, which are level 0, level 1, level 2, and level 3. So let's talk about what are levels. Level 0 means not REST at all. Then we have level 1. Level 1 gives us three concepts. First one is resource-based. Everything which we request is a resource. For example, this video is a resource. This playlist on REST API is also a resource. If we talk about the author, the Pythora Academy is also a resource. If you are familiar with object-oriented paradigm, then you can say every object is a resource. Now we know that everything is a resource. So let's move to the second point that is unique resource path. Every resource should have a unique path or URL to identify that resource uniquely. For example, this course can be a resource and this course can be identified by slash course. And if we want to fetch the details for the author, so that can be your domain slash author. So in this example, we are saying for author, which is a resource, we are using slash author. And for the course resource, we are using slash course. Here, the course and author are the unique names for individual resource. So let's move to the third point, which is unique resource identification. As we know that everything is a resource. For example, this course can be a resource. So now to identify a resource uniquely, we'll need a unique identifier for a resource. For example, in this channel, I can upload multiple courses. But to identify the course which is on REST APIs, I'll need a specific unique identifier. To identify this course uniquely on REST API, I can use the identifier. For example, my identifier can be REST API or it can be a unique number. To identify the resources uniquely, I can specify ID for specific resource. For example, I can give ID 1 to the REST API concept course and ID2 to the REST API implementation course. To identify the REST API concept course, I can use slash course slash 1 because 1 is the unique identifier for the REST API concept course. And for course 2, that is REST API implementation, I can use slash course slash 2. Now you have the understanding of level 1. Let's move to level 2. In level 2, if you add HTTP methods to the level 1, then the API will be considered as level 2 API, which means the API of level 2 has unique resource URIs and uses HTTP methods to perform any action to the data. As we discussed about HTTP methods earlier, just for a recap, I'll tell you the methods in short. Get. Get is used to fetch the data. Post. Post is used to save a new record. If you call the request 10 times, then 10 new records will be created. The third method is put. Put is used to update the record. If you call put method with same input 10 times, then the same record will be updated 10 times. Due to this behavior, put is called idempotent. Then the fourth method is delete. Delete is used to delete the record. Now you are aware of level 2 as well, so let's move to level 3. 
in level 3 we have a special concept which is hetios or hetos which stands for hypermedia as the engine of application state this is also an important interview question in hetios we are providing the uris along with the data that we saved or modified for example suppose i am saving a course on rest api so apart from the data which i have created on the server i can give the url to that rest api course or i can give a link to the author as well for example suppose this course's id is 1 and its name is rest api then i'll give a link to self that will be slash course slash id the id is 1 because the id of this course is 1 along with it i can provide a link to author as well so in short according to the hetios along with the actual data we are also send references to related resources so if you add level 1 level 2 and hetios to an api then it will be considered as a level 3 api so these are the levels of richardson majority model in the next video we will learn why we use richardson majority model